of the higher. And see, that's why. Amen. A proud people cannot give God the proper praise. They might patty cake. They might do a little wave. Hallelujah. But they can't get down to business and give God the praise because they're too arrogant. They refuse to acknowledge that God is God. And He always will be God. It takes a surrendered life. It takes somebody who has, amen, the spirit of humility to bow down and give God the praise that He's worthy of. 13 verse here. It says that on the Sabbath we went out of the city by lie. Amen. Under evil influence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what's going on. Amen. When people wake up. Amen. A woman and think they're a man. When people wake up and they're a man and think they're a woman. That's witchcraft. Hallelujah. The devil has got control of their mind. It's all in the music. It's all over the television. Hallelujah. Who is the witch? The devil is the witch. He's got the pot of brew And he's stirring it up And spewing it out across the land Come on, we stood This spirit of divination It's time for the church To withstand the spirit of divination It's time for the church to stand up just a second. It's time for the church. Don't be scared of the devil. Because see, this spirit comes up. It's an intimidating spirit. Mm -hmm. It comes to shut the church down. It comes to put you on the run. Oh yeah, it's gonna get wild. For God, we finna really lose our minds. You've got to be equipped with the whole armor of God. You've got 
people. Right. They're dancing with no authority. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. They're shouting with no authority. They're testifying with no authority. They're singing with no authority. Oh, let me tell you something. When you run across somebody that has authority, Sister Linda, with God, they don't even have to try. But you hear a weight in their voice. You hear a weight in the music they play. You hear a weight in the word that they preach. You hear a weight going to God in the tongues that they speak in. And they go to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what they said about Jesus. He teaches us what? Having great authority. And they go to God. He wasn't just thinking about it. It wasn't just a book like the scribes. Just studying and studying and studying and repeating something. He knew what he was talking about because he was the authority. You know what he said? He said, he said, amen, go with God. Amen, that I'm going to make you my signet ring. Hallelujah, I left my signet ring in Lake Charles. Amen, go with God. Hallelujah. Amen, but when I preach about it, amen, there's this big old ring. Hallelujah, and y'all know, amen, back in the day how the kings would do. Amen, that was how they signed things. Amen, go with God. You are submitted to God. That's what he does. He takes you and puts you on his finger. And then through the power of Jesus Christ. And then hallelujah. And he calls us through the name of Jesus. He calls us to become the authority over that thing. Behold, I give you power. I give you authority. Amen. Amen. 